hands here. Um, earlier this week, there was a question on Diag.net about uh, multiple viewports on PicoScope or using putting two screens, putting two scope captures up on the same screen. So I'm just going to run through how to do that. The first thing that you want to do is pull up your known good waveform. Um, this is a known good that I took, so I know what I'm looking at. Um, first thing we're going to do is go to Tools, Reference, Waveforms, and you'll see you have a library here of other ones that I've created before. What you want to do is scroll up, and then you can see these are available. Double click these and it'll add it to the bottom of your list. Then you'll want to name it and um, since this is a Eurovan, I'm just going to shorten it up. Scroll back to the top, get my channel B, camshaft intake and my exhaust. Okay, now I have those three created. Next thing we're going to do is push OK, creates those what I want to do now is open my suspected bad. Um, I've already had this open, so I'm going to open that in my recent files. This is known bad adjusters unplug. Um, it doesn't matter when you when you do this um, what the sample rate is or what your time base is. Um, this allows you to basically look at multiple captures um, in different time bases or you can make them the same time base if they are already different. So what we're going to do here in my known bad go up to views I'm going to add a view. Add a scope get ourselves a little bit more space here. So now we have two, two scopes showing the exact same thing. Um, under views, we're going to actually, we're going to go back to tools and go into reference waveforms. And then we can go down, select all three of those known goods that I have, push OK, and those show up down here in my scope too. Next thing we're going to do is we want to get rid of our um, our suspected bad, so we go to views, channels, and deselect A, B, and C so we don't see that anymore. And now, now you can see that our time base was different when I took these as well as the voltage scales. Um, all that doesn't matter. You can adjust everything here as normal just like you have um, only one capture on the screen. So everything pretty much moves around just like normal. Rulers work. Tri um, your um, uh, scales over here work. Um, so now what we want to do now is zoom in. Get 720 on the screen. And the zoom function works on both of them. And so you can see, even though we had a different time base and voltage scale, our um, two captures look very similar. And and you can you can um, 
play with them and narrow them down. So our individual rulers work on each one. So if I suspect my timing's out, you know, I, I can do this and um, come up with how far out it is. Drag my cursors over. Like that. And I'm just going off the 360 mark. And there, you can compare how far out that is from 360 on each of those. Um, down here we have 9.2 degrees. Up here we have 40 degrees. So we're about 30 degrees out on our known bad capture. So it's pretty simple. And um, this works if you have, um, again, two different time bases. Like if you do a math channel and want to see RPM over a gradual scale over the entire capture, you can show that on one graph, on, on one scope. And then on the bottom scope, you can zoom in and look at cam position sensor. Um, and you can have up to nine viewports on this, I believe, which um, is a little bit too many for me and my, my computer screen. So I hope this helps, and um, thanks for watching.